make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey everyone, Kenny Tony coming at you today again with another quick video. Got uh, Blue behind us. Sorry all you F-150 fans, um, <laughs> kind of neglected the channel a little bit. Uh, those of you who don't know, got rid of Big Black, still have Big Blue, wife got a Subaru Impreza, so I've been working on making some modifications for it to, uh, you know, make it a little bit more safe, um, meaning like the headlights, $700 packed into the headlights, um, upgraded, put LEDs through the whole thing, had to get a new tire, end up getting new rims, brakes, you know, those kind of things. So I uploaded some videos for that, but let's get back to something with the F-150, right? So here we got Big Black behind us, Big Blue behind us. Um, let's switch the camera. But today we're gonna do something just a little different. What I'm gonna try my best to is talk you all through how I'm going to put this into the truck. Gonna take out that one. And we're gonna put in this one. But you know, I'm gonna take off the silver trim and all that stuff. But long story short, what I'm doing is upgrading and putting a um, heated steering one there. After I had one in a rental car, it's definitely something I wanted into the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that here a little bit later. Um, and this video might take a couple of days um, just because changing work schedule and everything. Uh, wife and I are on the same schedule, so we're home or office, so the truck is not the major priority. It was easy to work on these projects when you're home by yourself, but not so much when you got your companion with you. It's not the priority. So, looks like we're just going to switch the buttons and things out from the two. Like these right here, it looks like it has the, um, like that adaptive speed limiter. And this one right here doesn't just have the regular speed limiter, so I'm going to just switch those buttons out and I'm going to switch this trim out so it matches the rest. I don't think that that's going to look good in here if I leave it that color. No, I'm going to keep it dark. Um, but yeah, we're going to work on that here. So I just bought plugs from online and I found a forum online that tells me what plugs to use. So I'm going to go through all that with you all and we'll see if we get this working. Got my boy out here monitoring me. Say hi, son. Hi. All right, let's get to it. All right, so here we are with the parts that we're going to use to see if we can get this uh, done. So part labels right here is a WPT-965, WPT-955, here is a WPT-977. Here is a, I want to say this is the module. Maybe not, but I haven't really found cover and contact plate. I think this is what's gonna go up on the steering wheel, that kind of place that rotates. And then I think this is the new um, heated module. These is where edsparts.com three parts that I ordered from there. Steering wheel comes with the heater module, the heater control here. And that's the part number for it. FL3D 3600 LG3ZHE. This came out of a Platinum. So Platinum has the heated steering wheel and we're gonna get this put into the XLT. All right, so what I'm gonna to try to do is just pretty much get it all wired together and then go a video of what connectors I use. I'm just gonna use like 16 gauge wire. Um, just let you know what I've done so you all don't have to just sit here and watch me go part by part and connect this and then connect that and this is how you crimp. But I'll just explain all that once I get these parts on. All right, so I think we got the harness pretty much made um here is the original connector it is the wpt 955 um basically i did everything i just used some 16 gauge uh, and 14 gauge wires that i had uh, lying around a couple but a couple spools of it didn't measure anything but kind of made everything long enough to assume like it's going to reach um so basically i will see if i can explain it to you on the plug here has four ports 
and um, it is WPT977 and this other plug here has just two and it is the WPT um, 965 and I know this is going to be confusing but I'm going to just try to go through exactly where the wires went um, if you look at these plugs they have numbers on the insides of them uh, on the very bottom here you see a one and a two down here inside of this plug as well there are numbers hopefully this video isn't going to be too confusing then if i can't get to anything to focus in here we go see the bottom it should be a eight nine ten eleven twelve going on across to the bottom um so what we did is took the plug that is number 14 here and it is a purple wire and it is just ran to a um, connector that is going to be on the ground on the opposite side of the purple over here at the top number one is just ran to a red wire which is going to be the power um, the top two three and four so we're going to be coming across the top like so. One, two is blank, three and four. Three is yellow, and it's going to be run to the number four of the 977. And the white, which is number three, is going to be run to the number four up here in the big plug. So then we will go all the way across to the top four. Five has something in it, which is black, and we'll come back to that. Six is empty, and then number seven is yellow. Um, and that number seven is going to go out to the um, plug here into the nine, six, five. And I think number seven is going to go into... Uh, let me see to wire number two in here then we're going to go to number eight that's going to be on the bottom row it's going to be in the same connector and it's going to go into wire number one going on across the bottom i already told you what the purple wire is going to be so the ground and let's get to the other plug. The other plug has a black wire and that's gonna be in number five. And also there's gonna be a blue one in number 12 down here at the bottom, five and 12. These are actually gonna to go to, to be in two open connectors that are going to go into the uh, steering wheel, um, the new replacement, the steering clock thing. Kind of rotates but it keeps all the connections um the black one is going to go it's going to go into pin three and the blue one is going to go into pin two and these should just all be able to quickly connect this is going to connect into the um, steering wheel module this place is going to be uh, replaced in the steering wheel and then we'll get the other steering wheel out. But let's just go ahead and get this in. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but hopefully it'll be really uh, understandable here soon. All right, so here we are. I went ahead and just popped this panel right here down. Decided I got a little bit ahead of myself, but I went ahead and took two screws out. This bottom plate here, one, two. Looks like I got two more to take out down here in the bottom to be able to get towards things. Let's see.
looks like we'll be able to just um, set this plug down here. And it looks like there's two of them down here. Man. Well, it looks like this module. Either on top or on the bottom. Yeah, we'll get that in there somewhere, and uh, be back right back in. So, forgot. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is take the uh, negative battery terminal off. Just take it off. Um, say wait about thirty minutes. It's been about twenty for me. So I'm just gonna go through, going ahead and getting some other things taken care of. So, I have one ahead and put the module in. It sits right there. I use zip ties. I do have uh, the push pin connector, as you see, right here. It was just a pain in the butt trying to get the other two in, so the zip ties work pretty well. Um, the ground, I'm going to actually take this bolt out. It's already a ground for something else. And uh, we're going to throw the ground on here as well, and then run the power wire over. Um, to this side here that's where we're going to be tapping into the power down in this area and uh, we'll cut it back on <laughs> 